Today we are going to answer the age-old question, Code Academy or Free Code Camp. We all have a limited amount of time when studying for web development. We want to make sure that we're using the best resources available, and these are two that get kind of paired up hand in hand, almost as much as the Angular or React from the subscribers. So today we're going to dive into which platform I think is best and how to best use each platform so so that you can get the most out of your studying time and the most out of uh, learning web development. A little self-promotion before we get started. If you guys are interested in buying and selling stocks, I use the Robinhood app. And a cool promotion they have going on right now is if you sign up through my link, you'll get a share of stock and I'll get a share of stock. Uh, it's more than likely that you'll get a 5 or $10 stock, but some of the stocks go as high as Apple or Facebook, which are about $180 to $170, depending on what time of the month it is. So if you're interested in that, there's a link down below. I'll also include a, a link to the video where I dive in a little bit more into detail about uh, Robinhood uh, as I've been using the app for a while, so you can see it a little bit more about uh, the application. So before we get started, I want to kind of dive into what Code Academy and Free Code Camp is, uh, if you're not familiar with either one. So Code Academy is the, as my, my understanding, the largest uh, interactive tutorial site for coding. They focus on web development, but they also have some partnership courses. They recently released Amazon Alexa uh, partnership uh, course. Uh, they have you know, programming, so it's not only in web development. There's also courses on Java, or as well as the uh, data science, so you know, database uh, elements. And um, their entry level tutorials, I would say that the bulk of their content is in web development, and it's basically for beginner developers. And uh, let's jump into this HTML just so you can see the, the UI a little bit. But typically how it goes is you have your, your sort of um, text lesson, then you have some instructions, then you have your text editor here, and then you have your view here so you can see what is actually happening. Now Free Code Camp is slightly different because they break up their, their sort of lessons into larger applications. We'll focus on the front end development certification because this is the one that most people are going to be learning and, and kind of their flagship program. Uh, but uh, you can see they have HTML5 to CSS and a bunch of it. And it's it's structured in a way that this leads to this, which leads to this, which is really helpful for a lot of people who are just getting started. One of the things that separates uh, free code camp also is that they don't just focus on entry level a lot of the stuff is entry level But they kick it up a notch right they do hold your hand to a point and then they they you know They throw in okay algorithms for instance here are 20 algorithms for you to solve and they, they give you an estimated time 50 hours Which is a probably a fair amount of time if you're an entry level uh, developer or someone studying they also have projects Code Academy has projects also, but they charge you for it. Free Code Camp is completely free. Everything on here is, uh, if you want to support them, you can financially through donations and things like that. Um, but uh, it's free. They also have a YouTube channel that has 200,000 followers where it's constant video uh, tutorials coming out from different people, people volunteering, trying to support in that way as well. Uh, one day, hopefully, I'll, I'll go and throw some tutorials on there. Uh, but you'll, you'll see when we go into, let's, I don't know, we'll just choose this one, and that it has a similar flow to free code, uh, to code Academy, where you have your view, um, which is much cooler that it's in a phone, by the way, uh, and uh, your text editor, and then you have your, your sort of instructions here. It's very clean. I'm a big fan of it. Um, one, one thing to note also, just because a lot of people aren't aware that this exists, is there's a beta for free code camp as well. Beta.freecodecamp.org will take you there. And this is new content that they are are creating and going to eventually be put onto their their site as well. And um, this will be uh, React tutorials. Basically, you can see here that they have all those sort of sections. They have additional ones now: um, front end libraries, data visualization, and their uh, APIs and microservices. So React Redux. So they're constantly adding new content, and uh, um, which is kind of cool. So. Now that we've done a brief rundown of Codecademy, um, some of the pros and cons of both. Well, Codecademy and my and uh, my experience. Well, one of the pros was it was kind of the only one for a long time. Uh, there's not a lot of sites like Codecademy other than Free Code Camp. There's algorithm sites. There are 
Um, you know, there's sites like Code Combat, which is like an action RPG coding game kind of thing. Um, but there aren't a lot of sites that just give you a interactive tutorial where you're running down these things and figuring and and going piece by piece. And uh, so, I mean, they're they're both great resources in that. And I tend not to like to say to use one resource or the other, but that's what this video is about. And and in this case, I would say Codecademy is a great entry-level resource. But one of the things that I find that happens with people who use Codecademy is because it focuses so little on you actually thinking things out, most of the tutorials in here are you copying things and changing one or two lines or one or two words in those one or two lines. And um, you don't really learn that way. And... Uh, so I, I would say if it had to be one or the other, it's definitely going to be free code camp. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, I, I truly do believe that the structured content is much better. A lot of times people are like, well, I did this. What do I do now? And they get overwhelmed, right? Web development's changing at such a, a fast pace that sometimes people just want to be handed a Trello board, be like, learn this in this order. And to, to that, I would say, take a second to kind of follow the, the market and understand what's in demand, what's cool, what you're interested in. But if you're just getting started, um, following the front end development certification is fine. And then sort of by the time you finish this, and mind you, I, I ended up getting a web development job when I was like right around here, my first real role. And um, you'll, you'll, you'll end up being able to figure out your own path from there. Also, I think that the challenging aspect of the algorithms and the projects, that's really when you learn everything else, even through these hours of, of tutorials, you're really just sort of being exposed to things. You don't really become a developer until you start to put, put it together in your own way, right? And even though these, these projects, I have tutorials walking you through them to help you out, uh, what you should be doing is after you solve some projects on free code campus, you should start a side project. You should build, say, Hey, I always want to build a Chrome extension, or I always wanted to build a YouTube, use the YouTube API, or I always, I've been interested in finances. I like to build a finance dashboard so I could track the stocks or whatever it is that you're interested in build that. But for me, it's, it's free code camp hands down because of the fact that, yeah, they do hold your hand, um, through part of the process. Codecademy holds your hand through the entire process. And if you want projects, you have to pay $20 a month to Codecademy. Well, here you sort of get project ideas for free. And uh, you get some more stuff with Codecademy Pro, like you have people you can talk to. But if you want to talk to some people, they have forums and they have chats and, and Gitter or Glitter. What is it? Is it Gitter? Yeah, Gitter. Um, and you can ask questions there. And I've, I've done that in the past when I was working through a lot of free code, code camp. And I, um, I have found people very helpful. And they have different subsections. And just to give you an idea where I'm coming from as a developer is I've done about 75% of every course. This is a, a separate account, which is why all these are out here. This is when I was teaching April to code. I created a separate account. But um, in terms of their catalog, I've done 75% of all their courses. And in terms of free code camp, I have, uh, let's see, I've completed the front end. Uh, I haven't submitted my React projects, but I've done these three projects. I have... Uh, built two of these, although I need to put those videos out. Um, and I've built all of these. So I've built all these API projects and I haven't got to these yet. So I've done about 75%, I would say, of the free code camp, free code camp as well. And I look forward to when they release their beta. But one of the things that is more, mo the most important reason that I'm saying free code camp, other than that I think they provide better content for web development specifically, is that and, and, and in order, right? A lot of people have str struggle with a learning path. They get so caught up on, hey, should I learn this? Should I learn that? And if you just say, look, I'm just going to follow what's here. This leads to this, which leads to this, which is what they recommend, right? That you should go in order. You'll find out that it, it's very beneficial because you just, you're continuing to grow. You're continuing to just keep a pace and, and keep it moving. But the, the real thing is, I think because of the algorithms, because of the projects, that you start to think like a developer. That's going to be the hardest thing for individuals to, uh, to overcome when they're learning to code, is how do I start thinking like a developer? And when you're just doing these sort of HTML and CSS introductory sort of tutorials, this is basically just telling you what exists. This is you reading through documentation until you actually take 
uh, that those tools and build it. Like if I told you that that this is a nail and this is a hammer, you could say, okay, this is a nail, this is a hammer. I understand that. And now I say, go build something. Would you be able to do it? You probably would because you understand what a nail and a hammer is. But now you have to take that same thing. I say, okay, this is a for loop. This is an if statement. And, you know, all these, this, 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 this. But do you ever actually build anything and start applying so that, yes, you understand by definition what a for loop does, but do you understand how to use it and can you use it? And I think Free Code Camp really hammers that fact down, which is why they have projects and why they have these algorithms so you can start reprogramming your brain to solve these things. And uh, on top of it, they have the video content on their channel. And I consider that an extension of Free Code Camp and Code Academy doesn't really do that. They have no video tutorials. I, I have a video coming out basically saying they need to get on that, that train and make it part of their, their platform. And um, Free Code Camp, although I don't know if they're going to include it on their new release, they may just, they have a whole section here of video challenges, which are just you basically breaking, them breaking down multiple aspects of JavaScript. And I, I encourage you guys to watch this if you're, if you're interested in it. You want to know about how to better debug, more in big O notation. You can see they're, they're constantly trying to expand these things as well. And, um, you know, eventually you can get some mock interviews, some coding interview prep. Uh, some start working on open source projects as well to build up your resume that way. But the the most important thing is it helps you to start reprogramming your brain on how to how to actually solve these things without holding your hand. Right? Um, it's kind of like uh, they're both teaching you. What, you're you're getting fish, if you will, to go to an old analogy from them both. At some point, the fisherman says, "You're on your own. Learn to fish." And that's free code camp while code academy just keeps giving you little fishes and nothing to help you on you know they don't even throw you a rod if you will code academy really holds your hand the entire process and never lets you go swim on your own um so that that's why i say free code camp is i think it helps promote that i'm going to think like a developer mentality uh through these algorithms through the projects and it's very uh, real world it it may blow your mind but i i probably did 80 you know 70 percent of code academy without building a project until i came to free code camp and it never even occurred to me to build something which is crazy right and um uh when i did when i started building these projects when i started solving these algorithms i really started to understand the documentation better and i i really started to think wow look at now I get it. Now it's there. It's it's ingrained into the brain. And I, I could feel myself getting so much better, so much quicker than I was before. So uh, if you guys are really – I encourage you to do both, right, because you get – the more the better sort of thing but i know a lot of people are only have a limited amount of time so if you want to know what i think is best for web de development i think free code camp especially when they release their their beta content uh you'll see front-end libraries javascript algorithms responsive web design these are all going to be different certificates and uh if you're interested in react and redux and react and redux uh that you can see they're diving into that with new projects and jquery and all this sort of stuff and they are staying much more up to date on the on that like this is a full-time project and it seems like code academy has been on the back burner for kind of updating their content for the most part so i'm, I'm a big free code camp fan and um i've pretty experienced with them both um, and I, I can confidently say if you really are trying to only do one, uh, Free Code Camp is the better choice. Although I encourage you to do both, right? Do the JavaScript section on Free Code Camp. Go do it on, um, on Code Academy, and you might pick up things in both, and it might reinforce it, right? So it's a big benefit of doing things twice is you do it twice. And you kind of, you're going to pick up and reinforce what you've uh, gone over. So that's my two cents on Free Code Camp or Code Academy. Um, again, I encourage you to use both. But uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, support me on Patreon, join the Facebook group, all that great stuff. I wish you all the best of luck. And uh, if you think I'm wrong and you want to tell me why or you think there's a better resource for interactive tutorials online, let me know. I'm always looking for great resources. I'll, uh, I read all the comments. So it's, uh, it's great to help me learn. And, and uh, I'm always interested to see what you guys have to say. So thank you so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IOTs, hacks, 
do-it-yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi. They have some great how-to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out, and thanks for watching.